Okay guys, I just got home from a long day of being out all day long. I went to get our taxes prepared and was gone about five hours because I had to wait for about four hours to be seen. So when I came back home after my husband and the kids were here and after we had dinner, this is the mess that's in the kitchen. There's dishes all over pretty much every counter. There's milk that needs to be put in the refrigerator. The table's got stuff on it. I've got about 35 minutes to spend cleaning this up before I have to go and do something else. So I thought it'd be fun to set the timer and see if I can get it done or how much I can get done in 35 minutes if I just focus on just the kitchen and getting it as clean as I can in that amount of time. So it is 6.38, so I'm gonna start at 6.40 and by 7.15, I'm gonna see how much I can have done in that amount of time. So let's get cleaning. Okay guys, there are there's nine minutes left on the clock, so that means in less than 35 minutes, basically 25 minutes or 26, I was able to get the entire kitchen cleaned, except for two things that are in the dish drainer that still need to air dry. Um, and got the dishwasher going, the dishes, I washed the extra dishes that did not fit in the dishwasher, and instead of being lazy and letting them quote air dry until tomorrow i went ahead and dried most of them except for the cheese grater and the little lunch bag which still need to uh, air dry quite a bit more but other than that i put the dishes away the dishwasher is going i wiped off all the counters i wiped off the table put up the shoes put up the milk put up the water <laughs> um, and that just pretty much goes to show us that sometimes what we think is a really big job and what's really going to take us like a long time really doesn't take us as long as we think it will um, so that maybe will encourage you to if you've got a job that maybe you are putting off and putting off and putting off whether it's for a day or a couple days or a week sometimes it really doesn't take us as long as we think it's going to so set a timer for a small amount of time that is 
manageable to fit into your day that you can work on that project uninterrupted. I didn't check my phone, I didn't watch a YouTube video, I wasn't even listening to music because I really wanted to not get distracted by like skipping YouTube videos or skipping songs and different things like that. So didn't do anything with my phone and was able to get the entire kitchen cleaned. So what I thought was gonna take me 35 minutes actually only took me 26. I know that doesn't sound like much of a time saving, but really when you're doing these jobs like this, multiple jobs like this, throughout the day and every day, every little bit counts. So I will accept nine minutes extra time. That is nine minutes that I can do something else. Or if I want to spend more time in the kitchen, I can you know, clean the light fixture or put that vase up that I know needs to go in the cabinet right there, but I didn't do that. Um, so that's an extra nine minutes I can do with whatever I want. But I hope, this got, I hope this was motivational for you guys to get up and clean, even if it's for only 20 minutes or 10 minutes, however much time you have. You can really get a lot accomplished in a short amount of time if you stay focused and do not let yourself get distracted. So I hope you, enjoy, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did so I'll know to do more videos like this in the future. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.